What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. I wanted to just start off, I want to circle back when it comes to Jeannie Mai and Jeezy because I just don't believe, I don't believe him. I don't believe him at all. And I do believe that Jeannie Mai had some either inklings or thoughts or maybe even has some evidence of him being unfaithful, even if it was emotional infidelity and not so much physical infidelity. And not saying that he's not guilty of that because she may not have proof of it. But I've heard some commentary from people that are like, oh, I don't believe that Jeezy was unfaithful. He just is like a stand-up guy. And and I just don't believe that he was unfaithful to her. And it's just funny that in the beginning when the divorce was announced and then we heard her response via her PR, her assistant, whoever, that she wanted to fight for her marriage. And now she's saying that he was unfaithful her wanting to fight for her marriage is not something that is uncommon when it comes to women. There are a lot of women that have known that their husband was unfaithful and they decided to try to work it out, even though it hurt them, okay? So stop trying to say that, well, he was a stand-up guy and most men don't if if they file for divorce it means that there was something that wasn't right or whatever like stop trying to give him the benefit of the doubt because he really doesn't deserve it It, it's like they were married for two years they were dating for i don't know how long before that and if he feels like he made a bad decision or he's just not the marrying type or he got locked into something that he really didn't have any real desire to do but did it for the sake of the woman that he was with which I feel like that was probably what he did and also it was going to be beneficial for his brand to get married because I believe he was engaged before and didn't walk down the aisle then just say that but him sitting down and doing the sit down interview with Nia Long which really he should have been in private with a therapist I just don't believe that he wasn't unfaithful if she says that he was. And if it's coming out now, it just means, in my personal opinion, that she's made the decision to accept the fact that even though she initially wanted to fight for the marriage, he doesn't want it and he doesn't want her anymore. And so it's okay. Well, I see how it is. Well, listen you're going low. I'm not going to go low or lower. I'm just going to speak the facts and tell the truth. And we did have this put in the prenuptial agreement. And I believe that that was put in there. I don't believe that that was put in there because that was something that he wanted to have put in there about the, um, the infidelity because the, the lawyer says that there was something put in the prenuptial agreement and they want the court to enforce paragraph eight of the prenuptial agreement regarding infidelity, which provides in pertinent part that in the event that either party engages in sexual relations and emotional relationship or is emotionally or sexually suggestive in communication with a third party via all forms of electronic communications, including but not limited to texting, sexting, FaceTiming, social media, and or direct messages shall result in a significant financial penalty upon the adulterous party. I don't believe that that was something that he wanted to put in there. That's not something that he came up with and said, you know what? I'm such a faithful guy, but you know what? I'm going to put something in this prenuptial agreement that holds me accountable to being 
faithful to you. And if I step out of line, then you are able to get more than what the prenuptial agreement states that you would be able to get, right? And some people may feel like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, that was put in there, but she's just trying to use that to go against him because she's mad. But the other thing that I wanted to say, because one, I don't believe that. I believe that she had that put in there because he probably already had shown her evidence. Not, And I'm not saying he came to her and said, hey, I want to show you this, <laughs> but I'm saying that she's seen evidence of him being emotionally unfaithful and she decided to have that put in there to protect her she's not a stupid woman she might be sickening and annoying to some people but she's not stupid okay and she's been married before so she knows how it goes when it comes to marriage but him saying that she was not blindsided she absolutely was because if she wasn't blindsided This woman has been all about putting on this image of this united front, this amazing marriage. Yeah, I used to like my dark meat on the side, but now I'm making it the main course. And and happy about displaying that for social media. I don't believe that if she knew he had filed for divorce and it did not come as a surprise and a shock to her, that she wouldn't have already come out and made a statement of her own. Period. So he's a liar, in my personal opinion, about her not knowing. I do believe that she was blindsided and she was not aware that this was something that he was doing. Because prior to that announcement, she was on her social media promoting his book with the baby. So, yeah, he's a liar. He doesn't deserve any grace. He doesn't deserve any understanding. You know, him sitting down and placating to African-American women doing this interview with Nia Long and saying black men, uh, not black men, but me, real men don't cheat and all this other stuff. It's like, uh-huh. what a coinky dink. You're talking about men not cheating, but yet we didn't know until now that there was this portion in the prenuptial agreement about if you are guilty of infidelity, the wife is subject to more than what she initially would have been. So, yeah, I don't buy it. I don't buy the fact that she wasn't blindsided. I'm not saying she's a 100% victim in all of this. I do believe that she loved the thought of having this union and she did want to make it work. But I don't believe that she did the work with regards to his past or maybe she knew some things about it and felt like, well, I'm, I'm above those women. I'm better than those women. He would never do that to me. You know what I mean? And if a person shows you who they are, believe them. And she went forward and committed, you know, well, I wouldn't even say a lifetime, but hopeful of committing a lifetime to being married to this man. And he couldn't even give her five years, two years, and he was done. So I just wanted to talk about that because I don't believe that she wasn't blindsided. I do believe that she was blindsided. I do believe that he was unfaithful. And I hope she gets everything that she deserves when it comes from that because he doesn't deserve to try to come out of this as this unscathed victim of whatever he wants to be the victim of. And speaking of marriage, I didn't talk about this before, but I want to talk about this briefly. When it was announced that Tiana Taylor and Amon Shumpert were separating and going to be getting divorced after being together for 10 years. I can't say that I was surprised. I I, I couldn't say that I was surprised at all. And it's sad. I mean, they, she's a beautiful woman. I can't say the same thing about him, (laughs) but they have a beautiful family and Hey, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I'm just saying, I can't say the same thing about him, but I feel that she was dimming her light a bit so that he could shine. And in situations like that, it never really works. And when you have, it's, it's sort of like that Tyler Perry effect, if you will, when he wanted to speak to women to say, look, if, you know, if you're 
with someone and he isn't making as much as you or whatever, as long as he can do this, as long as he can, you know, take you to dinner every once in a while, pay a light bill here and there, and you're happy, that's fine. I'm not saying that Iman Shumpert was working at Chuck E. Cheese's, right? Of course not. But also, sometimes it's not even so much the money because by no means was he broke. And Tiana Taylor, she's definitely not broke either. But I believe that she had more star power than he did. And sometimes with people, it may not be actually the money, but it could be the exposure. It could be the shine that you get. It could be the recognition that you get. And and I believe that he was probably jealous of her. But another thing too... um not a fan of people I don't even I wouldn't even say people I'm not a fan of the thought that people should if you're married allow other people into your bed and you're doing things with them and stuff like that to me I would never be down for that it just would never work and if someone even insinuated that to me I'd say go and have your fun and leave me alone I don't want to be a part of it at all and I never really believe a lot of women when they say that they're down for that, because more likely than not, it's always other women that are coming into the situation. It's not other men, because a lot of these narcissistic personality types, these guys that would feel like, oh, well, yeah, let's let's have a threesome. Let's bring somebody else in the bedroom or whatever. They would never want another man to be involved. It would always be another woman or multiple women. And that's disgusting, in my personal opinion. And I feel that when they were always talking about that and, you know, saying that they were okay with that and that's what they actually do, I was saying, eh, I don't see this lasting forever. But I wasn't sitting there counting the time down. (laughs) I didn't have a stopwatch, you know, waiting for it to ding. um, Okay, now time's up. But I just didn't believe that that was healthy And I do believe that that is a large contributor of it as well. So the news was that um, based on what Gossip of the City had reported, Shumpert was seen partying with a woman who was said to be all up on him. And the blogger posted blurry images of a man resembling Shumpert with the woman. In February 2022, rumors again swirled that Shumpert repeatedly stepped out on Taylor. In a reenactment, TikTok blogger portrayed an unnamed singer with two daughters who watches her husband on Dancing with the Stars. And supposedly the unnamed singer took an overdose of nose candy and wound up in the hospital. That's what's being reported on the Sandra Rose blog. But it's just sad because I do believe that she is worth more and worthy of better. And I also do believe that when you allow situations like that in your marriage, if they're going to do that stuff with you with other women, they feel comfortable and fine doing that stuff without you with other women. Okay? So I'm just here to say, women, don't feel like you need to subject yourself to that type of stuff to be with a man. It's like, Hey, if that's how you want to live, then fine. I'm not telling anyone how to live. But if you don't want to do that, just be honest. Don't do that stuff for the sake of someone else and then try to portray to the public that, oh, yeah, well, this is what I really want to do. When in all actuality, I just don't buy it. I don't believe it. And I don't care how long you try to hold on to it. Usually it's a longer period of time because they're trying to prove a point and they don't want anyone to say, yeah, I told you so. I told you so. I knew it wasn't going to last. I knew that wasn't going to work out. I knew how they was living wasn't right, you know, but I'm not surprised by it at all. I wish them the best. They have a beautiful family, two beautiful girls. And that's the other thing, too, about bastards like this guy. They usually have a lot of when they have children, they usually have more daughters than sons. Isn't that crazy? Like, what's up with that? I don't even know. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section, but I just wanted to talk about that, guys. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Bye.